done here is we've built a, a 500 gallon vac and we can use this on a 500, 800, or 1200 gallon vac. And we've actually made a self-contained machine. We're going to take the vacuum hose from the vacuum and we're going to actually attach it to the plate of the machine. There's a gasket underneath here. Matt, maybe you can show them that. What that vacuum is going to do is suck that plate down so you don't have to lag bolt it into the roadway. Quick setup, quick in and out. You don't have to cut the bolts off. Don't have to worry about it. Then we're going to take a water line. And we're going to bring a water line here. Supply it with water for the cutting bit to keep it cool and help it cut. We're going to go ahead and core. The, the reason we do this, and he's got actually a variable speed here where he can adjust the speed of the core bit and he can adjust the amount of pressure he's going to put down the core through the, the roadway. This will work on blacktop and or concrete. <clears throat> we have a lot of utility companies and contractors that go out and they're in a big roadway and they're actually trying, instead of cutting a square patch that is maybe 20 by 20 because sometimes they make them repair the whole roadway, we're just cutting small holes. We can core up to 10 to 12 inches with this unit. With a core unit, what we're going to do is show you how we core this. You can take the core out because it's hydraulically operated. Once the core is out, you can vacuum down to what you want to do, whether it's being a, oh, if you want to drop an anode bag down or just spot a utility that's in the roadway so you know where it's at. Once you've found it, you do your repair or whatever you want to do to that line. You put your dry spoil in. The hydraulic power pack will actually run a hydraulic tamper so you can tamp it down. What you want to do then is make that, once you've got a tamp to this side of, size of the core, we've got a two-part epoxy that you mix together. You set the epoxy in there, you drop your core down, the epoxy will come up and over the core, trowel it all off, strike it away. That is good for the life of the road. We actually use the vacuum hose then. If the core is still in the hole, we can actually put the hose right on there, suck the core out, and go do what we have to do.